Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, on August the 24th, we have a powerful merging of energies. We have an asteroid by the name of Vesta that is entering the sign of Virgo. This is a very powerful time where spirit is asking us to amp up our spiritual game. So I wrote down a lot of things here associated to what's going on here in the cosmos. This is something that is new to me. I researched it and I thought, you know what, let's tap into these energies together and see what uh, messengers are going to come through for all of us. So ultimately, in astrology, Vesta represents what areas of our life we can dedicate to, like what spiritual practices and things that we want to implement in our lives, what we consider to be sacred and the inner flame that drives our sense of purpose. So there's a light um, that is meant to shine through us. And uh, this is where spirit is asking us to uh, focus on improving, refining and or organizing aspects of our lives related to our health and wellness and spiritual practices. This is where spirit is asking us to devote our time and energy and prioritize these parts and areas of our lives. Okay, so what I'm going to do for all, all of you today is I'm going to pull a spirit animal card, see what kind of animal energy we can work with or you can work with. I'm also going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Priestess of Light Oracle, and then I'm going to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right Pisces let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to know around this energy so we are getting for you kangaroo look at that have any of you seen a kangaroo this is your confirmation today and if you haven't you're seeing one now on your screen so the message here is leap into the magnificent unknown with unwavering faith you are fully protected so look at that once again Leap into the magnificent unknown with unwavering faith. You're fully protected. So know that you are protected, everyone. All right, let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. And it's so cute because this uh, kangaroo looks like it's smiling. He has a smile on his face. So let's pull some cards and see what else is coming in. We've got the star card. Look at that. And this looks like a bunch of stars to me. Even though there are lights dangling, I feel some of you might be seeing a lot of lights and stars. Things that might look like dangling stars even, right? So the star card, this is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it tends to be in the background. So some of you might feel the star energy intensely while others you might feel this subtly. So this is where spirit is asking you to walk the path of faith, to believe that all your dreams, your desires are actually coming true if they haven't already. This is spirit also letting you know that a wish, a prayer is being granted. Okay, you're manifesting something here, Pisces. All right, so the star card. We have the nine of pentacles. Look at this. It's going to be harvest time for you, Pisces. We've got a lot that is incoming, and this is through the energy and the efforts that you have put out there. You are going to be rewarded. Your hard work is going to pay off here, okay? You're going to see results. So the nine of pentacles. Next, we have the knight of cups. Look at this. We've got an offer coming in. We've got a new experience entering your life here, Pisces. This is super exciting, and... I don't think you, you actually realize this is that happening for you or this is incoming. Now, this has already come in for some of you out there, so you can share your story about how this entered your life, whatever this was for you, but know that there is an experience that you're meant to experience through this incoming energy of the Knight of Cups, okay? I want you to also use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. This will not only strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Knight of Cups. 
All right. Now, those of you that are seeing the numbers 17, 9, and 12, this is a confirmation that there's something in this reading for you today. And also the number 17912 in that sequence. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Pisces. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we've got... Um, spirit all around you right now, signs, synchronicities that are happening, everyone, dreams that might be vivid, dreams where there are words you're remembering or remembering dreams just in general. Write these dreams down. It's now time for you to grab a dream journal, everyone. This is where we have sacred practices in our lives and this is where we really connect with spirit, spirit but also focus on our spiritual growth, right? So I feel there's a lot of magic happening in your life right now, Pisces. And um, I'm seeing some owls. I'm seeing like even kangaroos, like animals around you, spirit animals that are revealing themselves. And I feel that you're actually meant to connect to the energy of these animals as you're seeing them. I also feel that some of you are connected with past loved ones, also your ancestors, lineage that's going way back and parts of your past lives are maybe coming through and you're remembering them. Um, the other thing is Spirit is just bringing in a confirmation for somebody specific out there. This has come in a few times for a few um, signs here over the last little while here is someone that uh, used to talk to um, a spirit around them when they were young like having a, an imaginary friend. I don't know why, but I feel this imaginary friend has been coming through a few times in my readings because they're wanting to um, converse with you or they're trying to communicate with you in some way. And I feel this, this uh, entity, this uh, energy might be coming through your dreams or you're seeing this energy of this um, uh, imaginary friend. So I don't know if you have spoken to a parent and they've told you this or you knew this about yourself or perhaps you have a child that has an imaginary friend. So there's something coming out through that. So that's for someone specific out there. Now we have um, guidance that is coming in. So you're going to see a lot of synchronicities here. Pisces, things are happening where you find yourself in the right place at the right time or you're finding that things are happening coincidentally, right? It's not coincidence, it's synchronicities. And this is because you're in alignment with something and something is about to be revealed to you. And that is coming through the Knight of Cups. This is where this opening is. And um, some of you have prayed for this. You've wished for this to happen. So whatever that was that you wished for, that you prayed for, Pisces, know that it's being answered. It's coming in for you. And everything is unfolding and working in a way that is actually helping you grow and evolve into the version of you that is about to receive this energy. Okay, so this is ultimately what's happening here with the star card. And what I'm getting here is some of you have been on a tough journey. Maybe this tough journey has already passed, but I'm seeing some of you really struggling. Um, maybe you went through a tower moment recently and you've just come through that um, dust of everything settling finally and you're picking up the pieces and kind of moving forward with whatever was left of a situation, of a circumstance, whatever this was for you. And... Um, Spirit is giving you hope. So you're seeing signs of hope. You're hearing words of hope and encouragement here. Okay, so this is a sign where Spirit is letting you know that they're with you, you are safe and you are protected and now we're moving forward. And um, you can feel the comfort of your angels around you here, Pisces. You're going to have to share with me how this comfort, how these signs are coming in for you because it's going to be different for everyone. And I'm getting somebody that's kind of sitting in a blanket, all cozy. It feels like fall energy. And perhaps you're sitting looking out of your window. It might be raining there with a cup of coffee. There's, very, there's comfort there. And maybe this is something that you do in order to bring yourself to that place of peace, right? And this is usually something that you do when you know that things are okay, Right? You know that everything is going to be okay. And I feel this is a way that Spirit is sharing with you that everything is going to be okay. Right, Everything is okay for you, Pisces. So that's how the star card's energy is coming in. So there's lots of different ways that Spirit is actually connecting with you right now, Pisces. And um, I'm getting the 17th of the month or the number 17 here um, that has something to do with kind of the bigger picture around what is going on in your life. 
Okay, so that's coming through. Some of you are life path number nine. That's also coming through as a confirmation here, a life path number nine. I'm getting a, a completion energy here. So some of you have reached a goal recently. Perhaps you finally, finally completed a project and you're moving on to the next step. I'm seeing a lot of success here with whatever it is that you have finally reached or worked on and you're finalizing a lot of success here and you're going to see a lot of I feel finances are coming in. There's like growth in your finances. So something that you have worked on a project, this could be you also um, being elevated in your career. You're seeing a lot of good that is coming out of the work that you're doing in whatever position that you're in. And maybe you're being recognized right now and I'm getting a leadership role coming in for some of you and also you climbing the ladder in your career okay financially as well and some of you have uh, invested money somewhere and you're seeing the results of that and this is a promise of hope for you right that's all coming in it's all letting you know that things are okay things are going to do really well for you so I'm seeing an increase in income and I'm seeing some of you kind of dabbling with money like you're playing with investments here or trying to figure that out managing your money just because there is some extra money coming in for you just learning how to work with money so understand money here everyone that is watching out there today if you're somebody that have has been struggling with money having it uh, having a hard time making money you have to understand money and I feel that if you're able to read some books and really understand it come of a place where you understand that money is only energy as well the spiritual aspects of it you're going to understand how to actually work with it and make it and it'll draw it'll be like a magnet money will be a magnet for you so dive into some book, books and really learn about money um, and I feel knowledge here is going to be power the more that you know uh, the more that you're going to be able to grow so I sometimes feel that there's lack of knowledge uh, around things when we're trying to build something or trying to start something wanting to be successful there's usually this is what I've experienced in my own life and it might be different for some of you right how this nine of pentacles is coming in and but uh, a lot of times I feel like it's the lack of information or the understanding of information that keeps us in a place where we're feeling like we're stunted right we've been stunted or stagnant right so I feel the more that you know the more power that you have knowledge is power and some of you have money to play with and I feel that once you start to get money you're able to really play with it and see kind of what it can do for you it's nice in an energy of exchange money and I feel that it's all of our birthright right there is enough to go around for every single one of us to experience it in any, as many forms as we want some of us want to be rich some of us don't want to be wor wor worry about money right this is our birthright and you have access to this it's just the things that we implement in our lives that are not in alignment with this energy so we have to go in check in with ourselves to see okay where am I uh, with this alignment and energy of money what is it that you believe about money how much do you know about it right so I feel that they're wanting you to expand your knowledge and understand things in your life where you're wanting to see success so this is also a card of mastery right you've mastered something here so some of you are already in the process of that and some of you are meant to actually start the process of mastering something one thing that you can dedicate yourself to master it and see where it takes you okay so that is the nine of pentacles and I'm seeing a lot of growth in your business those of you that are solopreneurs if you have some sort of a business this could be a storefront this could be an online business this could be something from your home that you're working on this could be like little booties that you're selling this could be uh, candles that you're making right ebooks whatever this is for you a YouTube channel I'm seeing a lot of growth coming into your life if you keep yourself on a schedule create some sort of a system in your life some sort of a spiritual practice within that system right that keeps you in alignment that keeps your um, state of mind your body your your mind body spirit your whole wellness you got to stay on top of that is what spirit is saying and some of you haven't been and I feel this is spirit calling you out here Pisces those of you that haven't focused on your own health and well-being it's time you did this is the energy that is out there right the focus is on us it's on our internal health as well right so uh, once we start to do that I feel that we are and you have to put energy in this is somebody that works really hard 
right? You can either not work hard and reap the results of whatever that is, right? Which is not really much, but you can work hard and reap the results of everything that is meant to be in your life. And I feel sometimes uh, people think that we're not meant to work hard. Yes, you are. I believe that you are. I've done that my whole life, but I feel it doesn't feel like work when you're doing something you enjoy doing. And I feel that is the secret to find something that you really enjoy doing and do it the best of the best that you possibly can, the best of your ability, get it so good at it that it is undeniable that you are the expert of it, right? This is what I feel. Um, this is what I believe. And this is kind of how I've been working with the, my own energy throughout my whole life, right? So Knight of Cups, we got a beautiful opportunity. We have some sort of a door opening for you here, Pisces. And I feel this is coming in in the month of September for you. You're already feeling this energy. You know that you've been putting energy in. You've been hustling. You've been working hard. You know something is going to come out of this. And oh my gosh, is it coming? And is it coming in a big way? Now, Mercury Retrograde is almost uh, over here. I'm going to make a reading specially for that. But what's happening here, there's gates opening for you, Pisces. Pisces and some of you that have been struggling and going through things, working hard, trying to build whatever it is that you're trying to build in your life, whatever kind of energy that you're wanting to experience in your life, you're building that, right? Maybe you haven't seen results and some of you have seen uh, results with flying colors, right? We're all going through different experiences, but whatever this is, is now coming in and I feel a majority of us are going to experience something different in our lives especially in the month of September, right? So it's a it's an offering. I feel this is an offering from the universe and there's freedom tied to it. There is this looseness. There's no restrictions here with whatever this is. It doesn't feel like you're caught in something. It doesn't feel heavy. It's just very easy flowing, like it's a flowy energy. I'm trying to describe this the best that I can, everyone, and it just feels very loose is what I'm getting here. It just feels open. Um, and I feel this is what spirit is asking you to do, to be open and receptive. Sometimes, you know, even through my own life, I've gone through uh, different, different things where I've failed at a lot of things, right? I've always tried to build a business. I've always known since I was young that I wanted to work from home and have something of my own that I work, can work towards every single day. And I experienced a lot of failures, but I'm glad I did because those weren't the things that I was meant to do. And I go back and look at it, but they taught me a lot of really hard lessons, right? And that is what brought me here uh, to this YouTube channel, right? It's the, the everything that happened led me to me being here today. So I feel whatever this is, it's almost tied to your destiny. It's died, tied to your purpose. Um, now I'm getting something dyed a different color. Like maybe you're dyeing your life a different color, right? Um, I'm getting someone painting colors on fabric. So some of you might be working with fabrics or you're dyeing things with color. Um, I'm even getting like flowers. Some of you maybe have flowers in a vase and you put like food coloring and it changes the color of the flowers. So I'm seeing like paint and color being put into things to change it up. So this is really interesting. Um, that's coming through the Knight of Cups here. I'm also getting a knight in shining armor, but not in the way that the knight in shining armor is um, associated. It's something different here. It's I feel this knight in shining armor is coming in as something that is disguised as a blessing. So it's not going to look like a blessing when it first comes in, but it's also like a messenger energy. Like there's a message coming in through a messenger, right? Um, so that's one aspect of this card. Now I've got this other chunk that is now coming in and moving in here is organization. And this is what's really setting you apart here, Pisces, for this success. They want you to organize your life. They want you to really focus on implementing practices where you stay attuned and in alignment with your authentic self as you're moving forward. Because I feel this is a part of your life that might be challenged just slightly. So sometimes when we're doing things that not might be that not not that aren't authentic to us then we start to feel this restriction we start to feel certain things so just be mindful when you do receive offers that you're intuitively because um, I feel there's more than one for some of you there's more than one so you want to pick the right one so meditate on it is what spirit is saying here meditate on it because you don't want to lose your authenticity um, trying to get something that might not be for you 
Okay, so maybe there's an opportunity you're already seeing and maybe it's there and you're kind of excited about it, but I feel there's almost this energy of too good to be true. So make sure you do your own research, read, read the fine print, right? And it's, I, I feel paying attention to detail here for you is going to be very important. Okay, and um, love is also coming in. There's so much that is coming in for you right now, Pisces. So be open and receptive to love because there may be a love offering. Some of you might connect to a soulmate, a life partner, a business partner, a kindred spirit, even a twin flame. Okay, so there's some sort of an energy that is coming in that may be an experience that you're meant to experience by uh, connecting with uh, some sort of an energy that is coming through a person here for you. So a lot is opening up here for you, Pisces. And I feel it's uh, it's you. You are the one that is keeping yourself in this place that is very abundant, very um, happy. Okay, so I just feel there's more of that to come for you. So let's go ahead and pull a bonus card from the Priestess of Light Oracle. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. See what it is that Spirit would like to share with you through this card deck. We are getting tenderness, true love, and compassion. Look at that. There is that connection. There is that union. Okay, there is that tenderness. So I've, I was already feeling that in this deck, but this is confirming it here for you. So we have the number nine, right? We got the number nine here. So these are aligned, these two cards. All right, I'm going to read you the interpretation here of tenderness. So if you're seeing the number nines in your life anywhere, this is a confirmation. And... Um, I'm getting nine days, nine weeks, nine months, and nine hours around the message of this card. This card foretells the coming of a new or increasing love in your life, Pisces. It may seem to arise from out of the blue, or it may seem, or it may be a relationship that has been developing for quite some time. Either way, feelings of tenderness as portrayed in this sweet kiss will soon be intensifying. The brilliant gold that suffices this tender moment indicates a purity in the connection being forged, radiating the sense of deep heart-to-heart -heart bond. It may even be a karmic calling, a relationship that extends lifetime to lifetime. Because of its great height, the giraffe has an advantage over other animals, that is, the ability to see far into the distance. The message here is to be honest about your perspective on love. Be sure not to limit your view of your deserving or of your future potential, even if you've been hurt in the past or been alone for far too long. True love is on the horizon for you, Pisces. Remember that the tenderness you give to yourself will be reflected back to you in the brilliant light and love that the, that the universe will be sending your way. That is so exciting. All right, so we have an affirmation here, everyone, that you can use in your own life, so feel free to write this down. I open my heart and my life to true love. I deserve tender kindness from others and I give it to myself. So once again, I open my heart and my life to true love. I deserve tender kindness from others and I give it to myself. So look at that tenderness coming in for you, Pisces. All right, let's pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. We are getting full circle. Everything is coming full circle for you. 1919, we got another nine in a card. Look at that. There's something going on here with the number nines for you. So if you're seeing these numbers in this sequence anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation of this message. They're wanting you to embrace new opportunities. You are going through a transition, a completion, a change. There are cycles that are ending and new ones that are beginning. So spirit wants you to release and let go of what no longer serves you and be open and receptive to everything new that is coming into your life. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.